Today I'm working on replacing my closing wheel bushings with the RK products uh, replacement kit. It's a bearing and a bushing weld in there and uh, it looks like it's going to be a lot tighter. This is my current setup. Got the old closing wheels here. And I replaced these bushings last spring. As you can see, there's a lot of slop in them. I'm going to go over to some of the ones I've taken off already. They, uh, they're actually uh, I replaced the bushings, there's a fair amount of wear on the pin itself and that provides all the slop and they get kind of expensive to replace. I don't know if you can pick it up here in the video but uh, right along there there's enough play in that that allows it to move and it, it's enough that it just they don't track right behind where they're supposed to and they don't close the trench right so we're going to replace it with the RK kit. I'll go grab one of them and show it to you. Here's the kit for my planter. I've already taken out the two bushings, but it comes with bolts and washers and a new centerpiece. This will replace that. Then the washer goes in the bushing. You put, uh, doo -doo -doo. this is not easy to do one handed. Put bearing in the bushing and you run one washer on the outside of the bolt, outside of the bearing, run it through the bearing. It's got enough to do I think four, three on each side, three, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, one on the outside, four on the inside. What I discovered was three on the inside is the right fit otherwise it's still loose. Put that on there after you weld this on and, it, and uh, got some of them done already and it looks to be pretty good and tight, time will tell. I uh, just gotta take the old bushings out which I got one of them here and I just, these are pretty easy on the white, you just slide it through, take it apart. And then We'll have to, have to grind that off on both sides, put the bushing right on it. So I just weld that on, the bearing fits right in there. Now I'm gonna grind this off, grind the paint off, because it's always easier to weld the metal, bare metal, than it is to the paint. It does a lot better job, everybody knows that. One side, flip it over. And the reason these are oily is because last year I blew a hydraulic hose, I made a mess, and I wasn't a real big fan of hosing the thing down at the end of the year. I'm washing it and letting everything get rusty. Yeah, there we go. Nice and pretty. Pretty, pretty. You just hook up your ground, grab one of the bushings, get it set on there, centered as best as possible, concentric as they say. Put that one, grab your other clamp that fell on the floor, because that's where they always go. And then we'll grab the stick where the fire comes from and uh, we get after it. I am not a professional welder, nor do I claim to be. But I can make stuff stick when I weld it. I'll claim that. They're not pretty, but they're done.
is an inch tack top and bottom. That's probably consolidated. We'll give it a little more because, you know, farmer's got to do it. They give it a little extra. A little good. And, uh, and that's it. Now, I got to let that cool off. After it gets cooled off, I'll hit it with the wire brush and brush off all the slag from the welding and get the paint shined up. And then I'll squirt it with some spray paint and then I'll put it back on the planter. And then we'll be good to go and it'll be nice and solid. All right, now that we got this welded on, we uh, I just take the uh, wire brush and I brush it down to get it clean. All right, then a little bit of. We don't want any runs because you know we're fancy. Give it a little shot here, there, and everywhere. Got a step in front here. Pardon me. I've been getting just a little bit on the inside because you grind it on the inside. You don't want any paint, as little paint on the inside as possible because it's a tight fit with that bearing to drop in there. So you want to make sure you don't get any runs or sags on the inside because that'll make it a really hard time to get the uh, get the bearing inside. All right. Next step is to put it on the planter. One final assembly onto the planter. <clears throat> now this piece that takes the place of the factory, just plug it on in. I like to spin it down where the it starts to get tight. That way when you do put the uh, closing wheel Closing wheels on, it'll stay put somewhat instead of flopping all over. Won't be quite as loose. Spin them up. That way, also, the nuts don't vibrate off when you tighten up the closing wheel assembly onto this. So I've been using the impact wrench. That seems to be working pretty well. Now, this is the fact that the white, I don't know if you can tell, but the holes here on the white are slotted. So you can adjust the angle of the closing wheels to make sure they fit over the seed trench. And this is a 24 row planter and the, this is row one. So it's a long ways away from the center and the wings kind of fold back, get pulled back naturally as you are uh, driving through the field and the natural draft of the planter does that. Now we gotta put this bad boy on. I'm usually not doing this in front of the camera, so I don't worry too much about standing in front of everything. But I got my, my bearing pre-assembled with three washers on the inside and one on the outside. They also included another washer to space the holder, uh, these bolts out further, uh, which is why I think instead, I think I took one washer off the inside to make it just a little easier for me. To me, it made more sense. Uh, there might be a reason. Maybe the RK guys will get a hold of me and say, hey, no, no, there's there's a good reason we did that. You need to change that. We'll find out. Get that started. Gotta hold your mouth right. I take my speed wrench. And then, I look at it the back, get it centered over what should be the seed trench. Grab 
quarter inch in. Like it's the center one and double check it. And still tap it just a touch from there and then I hit one of them. And I hit the other side. And she's solid. I mean that doesn't move at all. It goes up and down just fine. It doesn't move, doesn't move side to side. It should absolutely stay centered on that seat trench and help close that a lot. I got, I only did six rows on my planter because six times whatever they cost isn't so bad. 24 times whatever they cost kind of dollars up because I've done several other things this year and thought, hey, I've got to quit somewhere. Can't do it all in one year. Now I got the spring hook back. There. That, that is just that is just solid. That's pretty easy. Uh, this kit's pretty easy, you know. Uh, so far, we'll see after I get around the field. We'll see if I like them or not. But uh, just from what I've done, I I think this is a good good program and definitely better than the factory setup. So anyway, we'll see. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, educational, or possibly entertaining, go ahead and uh, give it a like and drop a comment down below. Tell me what you think. If uh, you'd like to see something different, if you have any suggestions uh, as to ways I can do something different or anything you want to see. And uh, if you want, you know, go ahead and hit subscribe. That'd be cool. Thanks.